Hello students, in this video we will learn binomial theorem. Okay? First of all, let us understand what is a binomial theorem. A binomial theorem is the method of expanding an expansion which has been raised to any finite power. A binomial theorem is a powerful tool of expansion which has application in algebra, probability, etc. Okay? Now what is a binomial expression? It is an algebraic expression which contains two dissimilar terms, say example a cube plus b cube, etc. Okay? Now let n belongs to natural number and x and y belongs to real number. Then what will happen is that x plus y to the power m okay, is equal to summation of n to r equal to 0 and cr and your x will be n minus r and y to the power r. Now from n cr you have done, you have got this formula in permutation and combination. So it is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. Now what I am trying to say is, I will give you an example so that you can understand everything. Now what is binomial? Okay, From the term bi is 2 and nomial means terms which have 2 terms in an expansion. Okay. So, suppose you have a plus b whole square. You know the formula. That is a square plus twice a b plus b square. You know how you got this formula? This formula is calculated from binomial theorem only. Okay. Example I will give you. Now, you know a plus b whole square. Okay. And you also know a plus b whole cube formula. Okay, you know this, a cube plus 3, a square b plus 3, a b square plus b cube. Okay, you know this formula. So, what will happen when this power, this is n. Okay, see, this is n. When this n is raised to, to any finite power, that means, finite means countable. Okay, if it is given 7. Then how are you going to calculate a plus b to the power 7? This you can calculate this way. But when the power is higher, then how you are going to do? Okay. Now, for this, for this expansion, it is very easy when we use the binomial theorem formula. Okay. It is this one. If it is x plus y to the power 7, then what you will do? You are going to use this formula, okay? And then you, you will get a certain, like this type, okay? An expansion you will get. So, that binomial theorem will help you in calculating when the power is raised to a, any finite power, okay? Now, what will happen? Observation, okay? Observation of binomial theorem. You will see that number of terms will be 1 more than the power or index of a plus b or x plus y. Okay. So, the power will be actually it is x plus y to the power n. Isn't it binomial theorem consisting of two terms to the power n. Now, what is saying is number of terms will be 1 more than power index of a plus b or x plus y using binomial theorem. Now you see here in this case power is n or you can say index is 2. Okay. Now what is said is number of terms will be 1 more than the power or index. Now you see a plus b whole square you have got 3 terms. The power is 2 so number of terms will be 1 more than the power. That is you got 3. Okay. Now next. Power of x keeps on decreasing and power of y keeps on increasing. Say here I am using a. So I will use a and b. Power of a keep on decreasing and power of b keep on increasing. Means whichever place you are writing. I am writing a first. Okay. 
So power of a will keep on decreasing the first one. You see here first it was a square. Next is power of a here is 1. Okay, power of a here is 1. So gradually it is decreasing and you will see gradually the b power is increasing. You see in this case here there is no p. There is a p here power is 1. The next is power is increasing it came to 2. Okay, so you are going always to check that. Now here you see example a plus b whole cube. Index is 3. So power with uh, terms will be 1 more than the index. Okay. That is 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of terms is 4 and index is 3. So that is what we got from binomial theorem. And you will see power of A keeps on decreasing. 3, 2, 1. Okay. And power of B will keep on increasing. B, 1. Next power of B is 2, here is 3. So it kept increasing. Okay, that is what is meant for point number 2. Now point number 3. In each expansion, sum of the power of X and Y is same as the power of X plus Y. Okay. Now sum of X plus Y or A plus B. Okay. Now you see this power is 2. Okay. Now everywhere you will find that power is always going to be 2 only. It cannot be more than 2. Here also power is 2. 2AB. Two when you add A and B also, what are you going to get? The powers 1 plus 1, you will get 2. Similarly in B also power is 2. You will not get any 3 here power. Okay. Similarly here also you see. Power of A is 3. See, index of A plus B is 3. So, it is 3. And again here in the next term also, A square, when there is written nothing means power is 1. Add this 2 power, 2 plus 1, I will get equal to the index. Okay. Here also, A, 1, 2 plus 1 will give us 3. Here also, B cube. Highest power will be 3 only. Okay. In any term, in any term you add up, power will be always equal to the, this a plus b, this uh, to the power n, okay. So now using this, we are going to solve exam, exercise 8.1. Now this is also binomial expansion, okay. 1 minus 2x to the power 5. Now how we are going to solve this using binomial theorem, okay. You must know the formula first. X plus Y to the power N. Okay. This is the standard formula. N summation R equal to 0. N C R. X N minus R. Y to the power R. Okay. You see here the standard is X plus Y. Now what we are going to do. We are going to express in X plus Y. Say 1 plus put a bracket minus 2X to the power 5. Okay, now this is in the form x plus y to the power n. Okay, now the first thing is n, n, okay, n summation 0. That means in this case, my n is equal to, in this case my n is equal to 5, r equal to 0. Okay, so r we are going to start from. 0 to 5. Okay. N C R. So my N is 5. Okay. 5 C R. Now the first R it starts from 0. And C 0. Okay. The next is the first one. 1 to the power. You see it is X to the power N minus R. So this is my n, this is my r. So n minus r and then next is y is minus 2x to the power r. That is 0. This is my n and this is my r. Okay. Now again next will be plus. Plus again 
this r will go from 0 to 5. So, n will remain same. r will keep on changing. Okay. So, 5c 1 now. Okay. It will always start from 0. So, next will be 1. So, 1 to the power 5 minus 1. And then next term is minus 2x to the power r. That is 1. Okay. Now, next. Plus 5c 2. 1 to once you know it is very easy to solve. 5 minus 2 and then minus 2x to the power 2. Okay. Plus 5c 3. 1 to the power 5 minus 3. And then minus 2x to the power 3. Plus 5c 4. 1 to the power 5 minus 4. And then it is minus 2x to the power 4. Plus 5c 5, 5. Okay. 1 to the power 5 minus 5. And then minus 2x to the power 5. Now we are going to stop here. My n is same but the r value will be coming from r equal to 0 to n is my 5. So r will go from 0 to 5. You see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now let's calculate. We will keep this as it is. You know this formula. 5c0. Okay. 1 to the power 5, I will get 1 only. Minus 2x to the power 0. Okay. So, example. 1 to the power n. Okay. It is 1 to the power 5. 1 to the power 5. It will be 1 only. And 1 to the power 0 is always equal to 1. Okay. Anything to the power 0 is always 1. Okay. Anything say n to the power 0 will always give me 1. Remember this. Okay. Now. You see, 1 to the power 5 will be 1 only into minus 2x to the power 0 will give me 1. Okay, plus 5c1, 1. 1 to the power 5 will be 1 only and minus 2x to the power 1 will be minus 2x. Minus 2x, okay, plus 5c2, 1 to the power 5 minus 2 will be 1 only minus 2x to the power 2. Okay, minus 2x to the power 2. It will be 4x square. Okay, how? You see, minus 1 to the power 2. Okay, answer will be always minus 1 or anything. Okay, minus to the power 2 will, be, will become positive and minus to the power 3 will become negative. That means minus 1 to the power even number, something minus to the power even number will always give me positive and minus 1 to the power odd number will always give me negative. Okay. <coughs> so you see here minus 2 to the power 2. That means minus 2x to the power 2. This is even number. So our answer I will get positive and what will happen? 2x into 2x into 2x. Okay. 4 to 2 is a 4. x square. This all you know. Okay. So I am not going to explain that. Plus 5c3 minus 2x to the power whole cube. This time my answer will become in minus. Okay. And minus 2 cube means 8x cube. You will get 8x cube. Okay. Plus 5c4 minus 2x to the power 4. Power is even. So what you will get is positive. Positive number and then 2 to the power 4. 16x to the power 4 you will get. Okay. Plus 5c5. 5c5 minus 2x to the, this one I am not calculating. Minus 2x to the power 5. 
I will get answer in negative and 2 to the power 5 means so this I will get 32 x to the power 5 ok so I hope till here is clear to you now next is what we have to do we have to find 5c0 5c1 5c2 value from combination formula 5c3 5c4 and 5c5 ok now look here this is how you find using combination formula ok see 5c0 will give me 1 5c1 is 5 you calculate by yourself 5c2 is 10 5c3 is also 10 I have calculated 5c4 is 5 5c5 is 1 now the easiest way to remember is nc0 ok nc0 will always give me 1 and ncn will always give me 1 ok now you see 5c0 will give me 1 5c5 will give me 1 ncn and nc0 always value will be 1 don't waste your time in calculating ok now simply we will replace the values my 5c0 was 1 ok 1 into 1 into 1 will give me 1 5c1 is 5 and here is minus 2x into minus 2x ok plus 5c2 is 10 into 4x square plus my 5c3 was also 10 into minus 8x cube plus 5c4 is 5 into 16x to the power 4 plus 5c5 is 1 into minus 32x to the power 5. I have simply replaced it. Okay. Now let's calculate 1. 5 minus 5 into minus means minus 10x plus 4 tens of 40x square minus 8 tens of 80x cube. 5 into 16 will be plus 80x to the power 4 minus plus into minus 32x to the power 5. Look here, my board is very small. So that's why in your, when you do in your copy, you do it nicely. Okay. So ultimately what you will get, this will be your final answer for this expansion. Okay. Now, you see, according to binomial theorem, n is equal to 5. Index is power of 1 minus 2x is 5. So, one more term will be coming. Okay, extra. You, you check here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, when you sum up, okay, always power is going to be 5 only. Okay. Now, from here, you can make it out that the first term, for the first term, power will keep on decreasing. 1 to the power 5, 1 to the power 4, 1 to the power 3, like that. Okay. And see, x, it, keep, it will, the second term will keep on increasing. x to the power 0, x to the power 1, x to the power 2. Then, x to the power 3, x to the power 4, and x to the power 3. 5 okay anywhere here you see that the greatest power of x is 5 only okay not more than that or for 1 also but since here 1 I am not writing to the power 5 1 to the power 5 also it will give me 1 only so this is your final answer okay now again we will learn what is a Pascal triangle okay now in this case my n is for the first question my n is equal to 5 okay now what is pascal triangle first what you will draw is 1 okay this 1 is for n equal to 0 okay now next is we have to make it till 5 expand this one to both the sides like this okay then you add this 2 up and add this 2 and then 1 plus 1 I will get 2 ok this is for n equal to 1 slowly you are going to understand this then again expand here 1 1 will always be coming ok each time n is increasing 
now next will be n will be increasing like this okay now here again add this 2 up okay 1 plus 2 will give me 3 bring it in the middle 2 plus 3 will give me 2 plus 1 will give me again 3 okay this is for n equal to 2 now for n equal to 3 okay Again, I will bring one more one this side. Okay. You see it is forming in the shape of a triangle. Now again add this two and bring it in the center. Okay. 3 plus 3, 6. 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. Now again I need 1, 1. 4, n equal to 4. Okay. Okay. So add this two. Add this to 5. 6 plus 4, 10. 6 plus 4, 10. 4 plus 1, 5. Now, again, I have to make it to n equal to 5. So, one more. 1, 1. I am going to add here. And I will add all this. Okay. 1 plus 5, 6. Bring it in the center. 5 plus 10, 15. 10 plus 10, 20. 5 plus 10, 15. 5 and 1, 6. Okay. Now, This one is for n equal to 5 and till here will be. So, I need till n equal to 5. Okay, this will become from n equal to 6. So, I will rub this. Okay. I am going to rub this. So what I have done is for n equal to 0, 1 triangle, for n equal to 1, I will expand and then, okay, I will expand like this. Next, if for n equal to 2, I will add this up and bring 1, 1. For 3, again, I will add 1, 1, okay, and 1, 3, 3, 1 is for n equal to 3. For n equal to 4, again, I bought this 1 and then add then 1, 4, 6, 4. Okay, it's like that. So for n equal to 5, what I got? 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay. Now you see here. Okay. I hope this one is clear to you. Now for n equal to 2, what we have done is, we have added this above 1 and then 2 and then bring 1, 1. Okay, this 1, 1 will be coming every time. Okay. Now, for n equal to 0, it means that this value is for, it is ncr, isn't it? ncr. Now, since it's r always starts with 0, so n is 0, so my c always starts with 0, okay? So, this is 0, c, 0 value, okay? Now, next is n equal to 1. So, always for n equal to r, 1, for n equal to 1, my r will start from, it is 1, c, r equal to 0. Okay? So, my r will start from r equal to 0 to r equal to 1. Okay? That means this value is for, this one value is for, n is 1 in this case 1 c 0 and the second term will be for 1 c 1 okay now next n equal to 2 for n equal to 2 always terms will be adding up one term will be coming extra so here you see there is three terms 1 2 and 1 so this value is for 2 c 0 2 2 c 1 and this is for 2 c 2 Okay, so till the last we are going to get for 2C2. Now 3, for n equal to 3, the first one, there will be 4 terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this value is for 3C0, 3C1, 3C2, 3C3. Okay, and coming to n equal to 5, the question is 1 minus 2x to the power 5. For n equal to 5, what I got is, I am getting 6 terms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So the first value will be for 5C0, 5C1, 5C2, 5C3, 5C4, 5C5. For n equal to 5, my r also should be coming till 5. Okay. Now, this Pascal triangle is used for calculating this combination value. Okay. Previously, what you have done, there will be a lot more higher power will be coming in questions. So, every time when you keep on doing this, using this formula, it is going to consume a lot of time. Okay. That is what Pascal triangle is for. See, this is so easy. Now, you see, this is my 5C0 is equal to 1. You have calculated this way, you have got 1. Answer is going to be same. Now, for 5C1, my answer is 5. 5C1 is 5. 5C2 was 10. Now, you see, 5C2 is 10. Again, 5C3 is also 10. You see here, 5C3 is 10. 5C4 is 5. 5C4 you got 5 and 5C5 1. 5C5 is 1. So you can prefer either way. You can use Pascal triangle also or else you can use it this format also. Okay. Your answer is going to be same. Now this one is question number 5. X plus 1 by X to the power 6. Okay. Here also you have got two terms. And again, here we are going to expand this using binomial theorem. Okay, so this is your formula and CR, X and minus R, Y to the power R. Okay, now let us try. First is my N here is equal to 6. So first is 6, C, I told you R always starts with 0. 6, C, 0 and bring the first term X to the power 6 minus 0 and 1 by x to the power 0 okay plus 6 c1 x to the power 6 minus 1 and next is 1 by x to the power 1 plus 6 c2 x to the power 6 minus 2 and 1 by x to the power 2 plus 6 c3 x to the power 6 minus 3, 1 by x to the power 3, plus 6c4, x to the power 6 minus 4 into 1 by x to the power 4, plus 6c5, x to the power 6 minus 5, and 1 by x to the power 5, plus, last is 6c6, x to the power 6 minus 6 and 1 by x to the power 6 okay so i hope till here is clear to you now what we will do is we have to find all these values my n is equal to 6 okay my n is equal to 6 now i will do using pascal's triangle okay 1 1 1 then if I add up, I will get 2. If I add this 2, then I will get 3 and 3. Like this. Okay. This is 4. 9. Sorry, 6. 3 plus 1, 4. 1, 1. Okay. So, this first one is for n equal to 0, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4, till 4 we have done, again, now 4 plus 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, okay, again, one more will be coming, like this, keep on expanding like a triangle, now, 5 plus 1 is 6, 10 plus 5, 15, 10 plus 10, 20, 10 plus 5, 15. In the center you write 5 plus 1, 6 and then 1, 1. My this is for n equal to 5 and n equal to 6. Now how to check is you have n equal to 6 means the number of terms is going to be 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So this value is wrong. 6C0, 6C1, 6C2, 6C3, 
six three four. Okay, six C five. Six C six value is one. Okay, this values. I need this values. Okay, six C zero six C one. Now, since the boat is small, I am going to replace all this. I will just write down these values only. Okay, here I have missed out this one. Okay, see always n c zero n n c n will always give me one. So in Pascal triangle you will see always the ending will be one. Okay, now you have got seven terms one two three four five six seven. Okay, for n equal to six. Now I have written down here. Now I am simply going to use this values and replace here. Okay. Now my six c zero is one x to the power into x to the power six. One by x to the power zero is always anything to the power zero is always one. Okay. Plus six c one is six. X to the power six minus one is five, and it will become one by x. Okay. Plus six six two is fifteen. X to the power four into one by x square. One by x to the power whole square means one by x square. I can write one square also, but one square will give me one. Plus sixty three is twenty. X to the power three into one by x cube. Sixty four is fifteen. Into x to the power two. One by x to the power four. Okay, you can calculate all this by yourself. Sixty five will give me. Six x to the power one, one by x to the power five. There is in two here plus six c six will give me one x to the power zero. X to the power zero. X six minus six zero. X to the power zero means it is one. Anything to the power zero is one into one by x to the power six means x to the power six. Okay. Now for the first one, it will be x to the power six plus. Now you see here x to the power five divided by x. Okay. Now this and this will get cut and it will be remaining only x to the power four. You know all this, so this will become x to the power four plus. See, x square divided by x to the power four. So it will get reduced to. If I cut two here, it will be remaining only fifteen x square. Here I missed out six plus x cube and x cube will get cancelled. So twenty plus x square divided x to the so remaining will be fifteen x like this plus six x divided by x five. So down will be remaining six by x to the power four plus one by X to the power six. Okay, easy. You can check it from your textbook also. The answers. Okay, and the rest of the question from question number one to five, I have solved two question. The rest three is your homework. Okay, very easy. Simple calculation only. So, the rest three will be your homework.